Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's time for my weekly, uh, is it easy, is it fun video. And the number one recommended game to me today on Google Play was Spider Solitaire. Now I used to play Sp Spider Solitaire years and years ago. I was really into all kinds of solitaire games, but it has been, I don't know, uh, quite a few years since I've played it. So I'm gonna try and remember the rules and we're gonna go ahead and play. Now, if you remember, oh, here's a rules here at the bottom. Um, with solitaire, you want to uh, alternate your colors. With spider solitaire, it's a little different. Initial setup, spider solitaire is a popular variation of classic solitaire. Played with two decks of 52 playing cards. At first, 54 cards are dealt face down into 10 tableau columns. The four columns on the left contain one more card than the remaining six columns, and the top card of each column is turned face up. The 50 remaining cards are placed face down to form the stock. The objective of the game is to build cards of descending sequence from king to ace within the tableau. Each completed sequence is automatically moved to one of the eight foundations. Difficulty, one suit easy, two suit medium, four suit hard, spiderette, Playing the game. Cards are dealt face up from the stock to each column. Any exposed card is available for play and can be moved to another tableau column if it creates a descending sequence, regardless of suit. So a queen can go onto a king, or an ace onto a two, a ten onto an eleven. When a face down card is exposed, it is turned face up automatically in your video game. In, in a real game with real cards, you have to turn it up, but. A uh, descending sequence of cards can be moved to another tableau column only if they're of the same suit. Like a two of spades, three of spades, four of spades, onto five of spades, or five of hearts. Okay, scoring. The game begins with 500 points. Each completed foundation is worth 100 points, and every move made deducts one point. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, so just looking at this... Right now I can see I've got a 10 that I can move on to a jack. I've got a 9, I can move on to that 10. Now I've got a 5, I can move on to the 6. I can move that 6 on to the 7. 2 on to 3. Ace on to 2. 7 on to 8 and 8 on to 9. 4 on to 5, 3 on to 4. And see how each of those cards turns automatically turns up, 10 onto jack, 9 onto 10, 9 onto 10, 10 onto jack, ace onto, oh, it won't let me do the ace on the king, okay, and 7 onto 8, all right, if we have reached a point where we can't go any further, then the I don't know, back stock of cards up in the top right corner. You're going to go ahead and hit that, and it'll deal you out some new cards. So we're going to see what we can do here. We've got a queen onto that king, so I can move. Okay, well, won't it let me move that jack. Oh, because it the two appeared. So we're going to move the two onto the three. Now I can move this because it is a full sequence. We can move the five, oh, no, eight onto nine, and then the five onto the six, nine onto 10, 10 onto jack, jack onto queen, queen onto king, and then let's see. Now in real solitaire, if you're playing it, you can move a king into an empty space. Yep, I'll let you do that here. All right, do seven onto eight, six onto seven, and that line automatically disappeared, freeing up another line. We're gonna move ace onto two, six onto seven. We can move, I'm gonna move this king because it has the most cards underneath it that I want to reveal. So it's a nine, so we're gonna move Actually, we'll move it to here and move that eight to there. We're going to move the ace onto the two. 
and then again I'm going to move this king because it has the most cards under it. 5 onto a 6, 7 onto an 8, let's see, it doesn't look like I have anything I can move right now so I'm going to put more cards up. We will do 4 onto a 5, a 6 onto a 7, let's see, 2, can't move, I hate to pull up, I have to pull up more cards, I'm going to see, oh, the 3 onto the 4, and the 2 and the ace onto there, jack onto queen, Four onto five, ace onto two, seven onto eight, and I can move that king. So, oh no, I can't move that king yet because there's a two and an ace there, and the other kings don't have anything under them, so I don't need to move them. Let's go ahead and move the five onto the six. I think that's everything I can do right now, so I'm going to have to pull up more cards. Okay, we'll do a 3 down to a 4. Move that king up there. The 2 and the ace can go on to the 3. Let's see. Can move the four. Oh, I moved it over there and it made a full set, so it disappeared before I could even say it out loud. So we're going to move the queen onto the king. Let's see. Six onto the seven and the seven back over to the eight. Five and the four to the six. 3, 2, ace to there. So we can move that there. Line. Let's move the 8. That makes a full line. So we can spread our kings out, move the queen. Get a 3, we can move a 2 to that. 8, 9 there. This king up here. Five. Oh, didn't mean to move that. I was just moving my finger on the screen. Let's see. All right, we're going to have to pull up more cards. The more cards you get up, the harder the game becomes, unfortunately. Move ten to that. Queen over here. Oh, yep. And let us move that one. We can move the five over there, so then we can move that set there. Seven to an eight. Queen to a king. Four to a five. Move three to one there to make a full set. Six five four onto there. Ace onto a two. So my object is to un turn over as many of the underneath cards as I possibly can. So I'll we'll just keep trying for that. Now this game's a little different. If you saw what I just did, I moved that four over. Usually um, in a pure game, you can only move a king. A king is the only card that you can move to an empty space. Move that. Move that. Move that. 
that. Four there. Three there to an ace, and that should take care of that whole row. It's a ten. Jack up there. Seven six to there. Three to there. We've almost got all the cards turned over. Sometimes that's a good sign, sometimes not. Queen Jack over there. Jack and Ten over there. Getting a lot of aces and there's nothing you can put on an ace. Um, so it kind of fills up a space. Alright. Ten, two, nine, eight, seven, six over there. Move eight, seven over there. That means we can move this four there. Move that to the five, six. All right, now we've got two, so the ace can go there. All right, we're gonna pull up some more cards. We can move the two and the ace there. The more free spaces we have, the better, because we can just fill those in with cards. Five over to the six, queen to that, nine onto ten, ace there, eight, seven there, six, five onto ten, three down here, two, ace, that should, oh, where are we missing there? Oh, did it just give me a message that I missed? Check, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, four. Okay, so we've got too many fours. Check, move that over there. Move the three, two, one back over there. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four there. Three, two, one there. Nine. Six. I think I'm going to win this game. There we go. All right. So that is Spider Solitaire. And uh, there's a few different rules in this one uh, from previous games I've played. But it works. It's fun. Uh, I wouldn't say it's easy. You have to think on your feet. And every time you turn over new cards, you uh, kind of lose the advantage you had because then you have to remove those cards in order to move new cards but i think it was it was challenging just challenging enough to be interesting and it, it's a lot of fun definitely one of those games you can play when you just want to kill some time without thinking too hard without uh you know having to strategize and and it uh, definitely feels time so i hope you enjoyed that it's the number one game that was recommended to me, so that that's my my uh, thing each week. Whatever game it is, I play it if it's the number one recommended, if I'm familiar with it or not. And this happened to be one I was. Hope you enjoyed it. I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching, and bye!